Our location at the Oracle, even at 38, the best team in the NBA, their one and only visit. And you spoke about Cal's Leon Poe, and what a wonderful career. And it was shortened, of course. Remember, he missed that one year because he blew out his knee, his ACL, playing for Ben Braun. But, you know, he's had so many obstacles in his life to overcome. The background that he came from, he really didn't have any mentoring care, uh, parenting. He, he just did it on his own, and you've got to give him a lot of credit. What a beautiful, nice young man. Pac-10 freshman of the year, Oakland Tech High School. Drafted by Denver and then traded to Boston, and Leon Poe will go to the foul line. Essentially homeless, living on the streets. But you mentioned what something in, in terms of undersized. When you think of... Brandon Bass and Paul Millsap. These, yes. these type of players bother the Warriors. They, they always have it. And those 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six players who are strong mm -hmm. and quick. And Poe's minutes have increased. They, Doc Rivers had to find a few guys to play. Glenn Davis, big baby out of LSU. When Garnett was out, they had a lot of available minutes. And Davis had some good games. Yes, he did. By the way, Poe, they, they missed him at 6'8". I don't think he goes 6'8". But Poe is guarding Weber, and that is the same on the other end of the floor. Baron on Eddie House. And he will draw the foul. What I like what Baron does, Carl Malone did this. When a player reaches out, you take the ball and you initiate the contact. That way, you're drawing the foul. There's an art yeah. to doing this. And, and there's, it's easier said than done. Now, Barron goes up there and just hangs onto the ball a little bit longer. It, it, I'll tell you why it's hard to do. You can do it when you're flat-footed or maybe you come to a jump stop and you pump fake, all right? But when you go off the dribble like that and you're going up to shoot, all of a sudden you want your normal shooting motion. You bring that ball up above your head. And all of a sudden you've got to put it in some other posi position. Right. You're and, right. And, and you don't draw that foul, you're going to look pretty silly. But Barron's a special player. Barron's going to need a special night without his co-captain, Stephen Jackson. It's a real test for the Warriors who struggled one in six. And Jackson was suspended at the beginning of the year. Aaron knocking down a couple free throws. He's got eight to go with five rebounds and three assists. Eddie House, wide open, and the Warriors fortunate. Azubuki with Weber, now Harrington and Barron. Al has problems in these situations. He dribbles out of it, fortunately. That's what he should do. Azubuki, a little push shot. Tony Allen will come up with it. That big heavy brace, he blew out his ACL. But he's a special athletic type of leaper, and you've seen him drive. Yep, he's still, post up, still has his quickness. Tony Allen from deep, and he strikes the three. You don't see necessarily a lot of that, but his percentage is terrific at 42%. Yeah, he just doesn't shoot too many. So he picks his spots, and that was a perfect spot there. It was only his 39th attempt on the year. See what Doc Rivers is doing. Garnett has rested for a long time here. And Boston has not suffered at all. Pass was deflected, so now they're going to call a little traveling. That's because of the double team of Posey and Eddie House. Forced him to a travel. Petrus back in, Azubuki out. Just had a bad look all the way because the pass initially was deflected. Gave the defense time to recover. Well, the Warriors, eight turnovers, only four for Boston. That normally that is flipped because the Celtics have turned that into 12 points off the Warrior miscues. The Warriors have been shooting so well. Oh, they shot 33% that game in Boston. Allen hit one three. And now another. He had 16 coming in after 50 games, and now he's added two more. Boston, five of ten from beyond the arc. Barnes catching and... Unable to finish on Eddie House. Got his own rebound, but he was stepping out of bounds. Without Jackson, it is imperative that Azubuki, Petrus, and Barnes have good games. Absolutely. That's the small margin of error, and like you said, it's a good observation. They're doing all this, biding time with Garnett on the bench. And Steven Jackson, who's having his best all-around year. Doing the same, only in street clothes. If you're missing 40 minutes from Jackson, you're missing your best defender, you're missing 20 points, you're missing a clutch shooter. Yes. And you're missing that secondary ball handler. And Harrington had the steal, but he knocked it out of bounds. They need 
something from Al. They need something from Peaches we talked about. Got a little something early. They need some production from Barnes. Only nine to shoot. You expect it from Barron and Monte. Clock down to three. He's got a quick release. Allen will step back three. And Barnes was shut from behind. Tony Allen will pick up the personal. Four team fouls on Boston. But Doc Rivers is coaching the score, as they call it. Yes. I'm going to rest Garnett. As long as my team's in the lead, I'm just going to keep buying all this time, not have to rush him back after this abdominal, not rush him back on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. You look out there, the only starter they have is Allen. On the floor right now. Not Barron or Jackson on the floor. This is a rarity for the Warriors. Warriors have nothing going here. It's got to leave it one on one. And Monte takes it but hits the top. They, they had nothing going there. That's where you want to change that ball and move it quickly and make some cuts. They had a chance for a back cut when Weber had the ball. They didn't do it. So Garnett is going to check in. Timeout on the floor. 551 remaining in the first half. The bench unit's been very good for Boston. Leon Poe and Tony Allen. And the Celtics leading by five.